This is the rationalizing rap. Yo, you got a problem with the denominator, aka the bottom. Is a radical over some number here? Wanna know a way for this to disappear? Well, you gotta rationalize. It's another math process for you to memorize. First part of this is to multiply with what? Another radical, but why? To obliterate the radical, make it go bye bye bye. In case of two wrongs, the radicals can make a right. Multiply the top and bottom, answer won't be right. Otherwise, just simplifying when you open up your eyes. Chopping off the radical like a samurai. If there's only a number and a radical, smooth sailing. If it's an equation, don't go bailing. I'm unveiling. It's called the conjugate. Here's how it's formed. Keep the first number intact. Make the second opposite. Multiply like before. Distribute. Now you've been informed. But wait, there's more. When you come across something not a square root, guess what you gotta do? Rationalize. Same procedure applies here. It's true. Let's say a cube root. You gotta multiply two with the radical. Make number underneath squared. Multiply the top or numerator. The name it bears. And of course the bottom, which gives you a chance. Cancel out the radical. Maybe even break into your happy dance. Now it's a whole number. Making problems in this manner. Easier solving. Technically correct by math standards. There you go, Mr. Pons.